Brothers and sisters, I know that uh, <clears throat> we've been here a long time, so I won't be, take too much time, but uh, I was sitting down there and I just had a lot of feelings come over me um, that I wanted to get up and express. Um, I wish I could speak Chinese to you, but you wouldn't understand, Chinese people wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is willing, but my mind is weak. <laughs> it's a lot of cobwebs up here these days. Um, after seeing a lot of you, I, I realized that um, a lot of time has passed, but it doesn't matter because the feelings and the emotions that uh, I had in the mission field with you are just as strong. Um, brothers and sisters, I love my mission. It's where I found myself, um, and it's where I set my course, set my compass, and um, it has been that thing in my life that I look back to um, as I look at my life and as I look to guide my children's lives. Um, I, have, uh, I have five children. Um, my two older daughters are married, um, and I have two sons, and then um, we have a little daughter. Um, that we adopted when I was six years old. Um, it was quite a, uh, an incredible experience. Um, one that uh, was, a, was, a, was one of those that uh, the Lord says, hold on, because it's going to be an incredible ride. Um, we always knew that we were going to adopt um, a child, someone from Asia. It was just a feeling I had when I left Hong Kong and something my wife felt as well. Um, and we, we had two girls right away, and we thought, you know, we're going to have, we're going to be a rabbit farm. We're going to have, have tons of kids. But um, after many miscarriages, um, we thought we were done. We had our sons, and then we thought we were really done. And um, and after seven years, my wife started to have promptings and feelings that there was a baby on the way, and um, that we were going to be adopting one. and. Um, uh, I was, I thought oh, we were done, I thought uh, you know, the time has passed, and um, she, she had a feeling to go to a, a, a um, there was an, an adoption um, center that was having a, a meeting, and um, so we decided we'd go just on a whim, and uh, as we were there I was joking around with the person saying my wife had had dreams of this little, this little girl. And they asked her to tell them about tell her about the dream, and she explained that it was a little girl from Asia, had dark hair, um, and she she, um, she told them all about it. And they said, "Well, we take dreams very seriously, uh, so we go to the temple um, every week and we pray about our people." Um, the next week, the very next week, um, they called my wife. They didn't have her number. They said, "We found you through information." Um, but uh, we think that we have your daughter. She was born yesterday in Philadelphia, um, and uh, she's Cambodian. And um, we hadn't even filled out adoption papers. Um, so I was on a business trip. My wife, my wife called me, and um, as I'm there with my bosses, uh, she calls and tells me, I think that our baby was just born. And um, I had an incredible feeling that, uh, that it was right. And, um, the next few days, we filled out adoption papers. Um, that was on a, on a Tuesday. We sent them in on Thursday, Friday morning, and Friday afternoon, the birth mom selected us. And uh, the following Monday, she was on a flight to go pick up our baby. And um, that's kind of unheard of in when adopting. So it's been a it's been a wonderful experience. She's been such a joy in our lives. Um, I want to also just express my love for the Boos. Um, they were just what I needed in my mission. Um, I, uh, my parents were always people that I looked up to as an example, um, but they were also gave what for such an increase of love. I felt just love coming from them. And when President Sister came to the mission field, I felt that from them. And um, one of the greatest experiences I had was being able to serve in the office where I was close to the to President Sister Gu, and I got to know um, Charlene and all of the other children, and it was, it was a great experience. I've had the opportunity to go to Hawaii um, with my work periodically, and been able to take some of my children uh, to 
meet the Goose and to sit with them and have dinner with them. It's been a, a wonderful experience um, having them in my, my life, and I wish them the best on that new mission. Um, brothers and sisters, I have a firm testimony of the gospel. I love it with all my heart. Um, and I want to tell you also that I love Hong Kong. When I left Hong Kong, I left a part of me there, and I took a part of Hong Kong with me. And um, it will always be a part of me, no matter where I go, and no matter what I do in life. And when I look out and I see you, all of you that have come from Hong Kong, I want to express my love and gratitude for you and for how you've affected my life. And I share that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.